Hello everyone. Welcome to webinar series on Intel Higher Education Challenge. Today's webinar topic is setting up SSH server over Wi-Fi and communication over SFTP. Looking on our webinar agenda, we would be learning today on how to establish connection between Windows host machine and Intel Edison board using SSH and SFTP protocols. First thrust area which we would focus today in this webinar is setting up SSH over Wi-Fi. Under this broad topic, we begin our talk with what is SSH and how SSH works. We would also come across various advantages and disadvantages of using SSH protocol over serial communication protocol. Further, we would elaborate upon process to enable Wi-Fi and perform SSH access in Intel Edison board. Second thrust area which we would look in this webinar is communication over SFTP between host system and Intel Edison board. Under this topic, we would talk about how to securely exchange files between host platform and target board. In the previous webinars, setup and login details in Intel Edison boards were explained with sufficient detail using serial communication protocol. Now, after we log in Intel Edison board using serial, next step is to enable Wi-Fi that would help us access board via SSH and SFTP protocol. So let's discuss about SSH and its advantage over S serial communication in next slide. Why SSH? Why SSH at all is necessary? This question leads to another basic but very important question, what is SSH? So here is the answer. SSH stands for Secure Shell Protocol, which is generally used to have secure access to target from host or vice versa. Regular network protocols are highly unsecure. To prevent data theft during transmission over network, yet make successful communication between server and client, SSH protocol could be of great help. In this slides, let's try and understand how SSH protocol works. From the previous slide, we learned that SSH helps to enable secure connection between client and server. So how this security is maintained? Answer to this is data encryption and hashing algorithms. To enable a successful SSH connection, certain necessary steps are as follows. Before transmitting data over SSH connection, client verifies about the specific server using server public key. Both client and server negotiate over predefined parameters and finally open a secure channel through which user can log into server host operating system or vice versa as if needed. For protecting the privacy and integrity of exchange data between the client and server, SSH protocol implements strong symmetric encryption and hashing algorithms. Now let's talk about few advantages and disadvantages of using SSH protocol over serial communication. First and foremost advantage of using SSH protocol is that it is an encrypted communication ensuring secure data transfer. Second useful advantage of SSH protocol is its ability to establish connection between host computer and multiple Intel Edison modules simultaneously without using USB cables. At the same time, a major disadvantage that SSH connection provides when compared to serial communication is occasional discontinued network connections. Wi-Fi connections may show occasional network latencies which may cause minor lag in board performance at times. To enable Wi-Fi in Intel Edison, after we connect to board and get access to command line, we need to type the command configure underscore Edison space dash dash setup. 
This command would ask to set up device password and device name. Give suitable inputs as needed. Then it asks to set up Wi-Fi as shown in image. Press Y. Now board Wi-Fi would scan all available Wi-Fi networks and you can select the suitable network to which you want to connect your board. Once connection is established, board says done and you return to your shell prompt. Once board is connected to Wi-Fi, we should test for the connectivity and IP address assigned to board. To check the assigned IP address to board, we should type command configure underscore addition space dash dash show Wi-Fi IP in shell prompt. It would print the board's IP address as shown in figure. To test the board connectivity with Wi-Fi network, we can ping any website example www.google.com and it should respond back if connectivity is proper. If website does not respond back, we should try reconnecting to intended Wi-Fi network and ag try again. Till now we have learned how to connect Intel Edison board to Wi-Fi. Now it's time to establish SSH connection between host computer and target board. For this requirement, there are many popular applications available such as PuTTY, Terraterm, Mo MobaX Term, etc. But we would stick to PuTTY for demonstration purpose due to its open source nature. After we get access to command line in PuTTY, we can also type if config on shell prompt to find the IP address of board or we can also use commands as mentioned in the previous slide. For configuring PuTTY to be used as SSH access, in PuTTY interface we have to select radio button on SSH. Under host name, fill the Intel Edison board IP address which we have acquired from the previous slide and set port number as 22. Click OK. PuTTY security alert message would pop up for the first time user of SSH interface. This alert message tells that you trust your host with which your board is going to connect. Click Yes. Depending on the network availability, it may sometimes take few extra seconds to establish connection between host and board. Once connection is established, login prompt would be visible as shown in figure where username and password can be pushed to log into Intel Edison board. This way, Intel Edison can be accessed over SSH via Wi-Fi. Let's take up the second simple but important thrust area of our agenda that is communication over SFTP between board and host system. First of all, we need to understand what is SFTP and why do we need this. SFTP stands for Secure File Transfer Protocol similar to SSH and we need this protocol for securely exchange any file between host system and Intel Edison board. For this, we are using another open source application called WinSCP which is to be downloaded from given link and extracted to get the executable file. The WinSCP gives a graphical interface where we can see the files available in host system and after connection being established you can also look into, the f into your Intel Edison board files. In the graphical interface under host name, board IP address can be used and board login credentials are used are also used to connect this application with board, ultimately establishing connection between host and Intel Edison board via SFTP. In the graphical interface under host name, 
board's IP address can be used and board's login credentials are also used to connect this application with board. Ultimately establishing connection between host and Intel Edison board via SFTP. Using this interface any file written in Python IDE in host system can be copied to board for execution or any program available on Intel Edison board can be stored on host for future reference by just drag and drop mechanism. Thank you for watching this webinar. Have a nice day.